Vinny Prabhakar, a character who plays a anchor of a news channel, gets her camera to focus on a large bag containing garbage, tied close closely, and being transported in a cart. She says Indian society is like that. One thin line when it all gives away. The entire society becomes but a crowd. B is a story about that disintegrated crowd held together by a illusory thread of oneness that comes to serious question in the threat and the dilemmas of COVID-19. It is indeed strange that Zimato by Nandita Das and Anubhav Sinha's Fulham Bheel come out for public review almost at the same time. More on Nandita Das later. But let's talk Anubhav Sinha's brilliant Fulham Bheel. The man makes a different class of cinema. I'm tempted to compare him with the likes of Gulzar, Basu Chatterjee, and Rishikesh Mohaji. And may also be willing to place him above them, not in craft as much as in intellectual honesty of dealing with cinema in the context of social reality. His trilogy, Mulk, Tapar, and Aradhan deal with the many hues of inequality in our society. Tapsi Pannu, two of them, showed how much the mirage of equality is keeping our society going. COVID exposed this to a large extent. And this is from where Anubha takes off with his film, 13 days after March 22, 2020, after the curfew is called nationwide. After 15 days and a national curfew, migrant labor slowly start moving away from Delhi and get caught at a check post at a place called Tejpur. Wholly unprepared starving, no food, no health conditions, no masks. One would have thought COVID was the easiest thing for India because we all believed in social distancing. We all did, believed in masking ourselves. How did we then get surprised by that? Because the masking and the social distancing are far more peripheral that COVID required of people, and it was far more deep rooted in the context of societal prejudices in India. Also running along is the story of a young upper caste doctor played by Rui Pipnik and her lower caste lover, Rajkumar Rao, who masquerades in the name of Singh. Surya Prakash Singh, only to act, have social acceptance. But his own boss, Yadavji, played by Ashutosh Rana, walks at him, may not even be deliberate, that he after all belongs to a lower caste community. However, as an ad hoc check post comes up, Circumstances force Singhji to be the in charge of the post. And he also has command over Ram Singh, played by Aditya Srivastava. The challenge now is, can he get over the birthmarks of his caste? For even in bed when he is with his lady friend, it affects him 
he just moves off sometimes, can't perform sometimes. Because the images of social inequality hamper even his most honest moments. How does he overcome it? Does he overcome it? In this final challenge, as the film moves towards an interesting climax, and the film is just about 160 minutes, thank you, Anubhav, for telling us that a good story can be told in less than two hours. You find a very interesting paradox of a farmer's, uh, a happy farmer's hub supermarket lying isolated at a distance with the best of food stock there and all the Indian lying on the other side of the road without food, clothing or shelter. It is here that Abraham played a game but what a performance for points by Pankaj Kapoor. Pankaj Kapoor, a typical middle class Brahmin who comes away from his village in search of respectability, has to go back to tell the people in his village that he doesn't read horoscopes. He does Chaukidari. And their Chaukidari is still not very popular. So what does he do? He turns angry when he sees his near and dear, the brink of starvation. He lets go all his milder philosophies, takes to the garden, and is willing to shoot anyone who's going to stop him from looting the supermarket to ensure food is given to all others. There are a few communal sides like stories which don't constitute the crux of the forum, but they do tell of our little, little prejudices and in the final analysis, it shows the deep divide in our society and also how underprepared we were with COVID and how Absolutely unempathetic we were to the suffering of labor, which is going back. Do we call them migrant in our own country? Because when there are borders, one of the characters is borders within our own country. But then states did follow that pattern, they did not. Someday in the distant future, People will look at this piece of our country's history and analyze it from a social perspective. Thank God we've gone past it. Thank God some of us survived to tell the story. Thank God some of us survived to see the story. We must thank God that many of us have the chance to go and see the story in B. B is arguably one of the best films. Even by Anubhav standards, it's a top ranked film. Watch it for some absolutely poignant performances from the likes of Pankaj. If there's some performance in the film that disappoints you, it's movie picnic. Watch it for some amazing dialogues in the backdrop coming in from the likes of uh, Kritika Dayal Rastogi as the crew of the television camera network. How they talk about Indian society, how people living in the periphery, the migrant labor, are never a part of the larger agenda of this country. And then, see the full For the sheer brilliance of Raj Kumar Rao. I remember at some point in time, I think it was, I, I don't remember which film, I remember very distinctly having the gumption, if I may use the expression, to compare Raj Kumar Rao with Balraj Sahani. I will do it again. This actor is of a sublime substance. The manner in which the Dvidha that he 
has, the dilemma that he has on empowerment and the social inhibitions with which he has to use them, charters a unprecedented navigation. And for this alone, I'm sure lovers of good cinema would savor if only they take the trouble of buying themselves a ticket, going to the theatres and encouraging somebody who is willing to throw up his hand and make a good film. When I went and saw the film, there were eight of us in the theatre. This is not a slap on Anubha. This is a slap on our us. We are telling ourselves that we do not deserve good cinema. We'll talk about when a good Western film comes home, Tom Hanks. Why don't we encourage good cinema in India? How many of us are going and willing to go and see a film like this and tell people, no, cinema is not only entertainment, it's good cinema. It's social document. Cinema is also about realizing human emotions. Well, today we are all in a different world game, aren't we? But if we have the time to get off it, get off the fast horse, please go to the theatre. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to good cinema, you owe it to the country. You owe it to good art to encourage a film like this. An antithesis of a time. Strongly and without hesitation, I would call this one of the best movies I've seen in the last one year or more. I would strongly recommend every viewer of this review to go at the earliest ASAP and watch B. Add to the crowd in the theatre if finally you want to stitch a society. Thank you for watching this. Take me seriously for once. I plead with you go and watch B. Thank you, Abhina. Thank you, Dattu, for helping out this review to reach the public, especially because apart from being a professional who likes to watch, read, review, and reach out to people, I have an additional commitment and passion to promote very good cinema. And I am unabashed in stating that I am willing to be a promoter Look upon me as a promoter with bias for being, but please go and see being. Thank you.